Hey, this is Ashley and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic and like I promised, I'm here for a video and today I'm going to be talking just a little bit about what it's like being a want it almost five months later. Um, so in case you did not know, um, there was a huge issue last year and it resulted in the disbandment of what became my alt group, X1. And X1 is filled with 11 completely talented, absolutely wonderful, amazing guys. I adored them. I fell for them. I fell for them as a group. So there are a lot of people that went into produce and went into X1 cheering and supporting their one member. And many came to grow and love all of the members. But I feel like there is a subsect that is a smaller subsect that is like me that came to love X1 as a group. So it's a little bit of a different feeling when it comes to supporting the members afterwards. Yes, I have my bias. In case you did not know, my bias is Lee Hangyul. I love Hangyul. He's, he's my boy. Um, but like I said, I came to love X1 as a group and not from individual members. So that's a little bit of a different perspective that I'm going to be having as I go into this and talk to this, talk about this a little bit today. So let's just start out with ever since that day, obviously the members are no longer together as a group. One it's um, not all one it's, but there is a large group of one it's and though that group is getting smaller by the day, there are a group of one it's I am one of which who support the formation of a unit, the X1 unit. And we would really like this to allow the members who were cut short of their opportunity. We were supposed to have five years together and we were cut short of that. And many of us would like for the members to be able to form a unit. And I think that there's a lot of discrepancies and things going on with the different groups and just the people who believe in the unit and where each of the members should be. But I just wanted to put in my perspective real quick, which is that an X1 unit is something that I would really love to see. And I think that if the companies are really for it, that there's something to gain from having an actual X1 unit. And I hope that in the near future, we will be hearing some sort of announcement that a unit will happen. That said, a unit is not something that is going to replace the members' permanent groups. So we were going to have a five-year contract, but 2.5 of that year's was supposed to be dedicated X1 only, which we lost. But the latter half of that was supposed to be a split, in which case the members would be able to promote with their individual labels and also with X1, which led many to people to believe that there was gonna be different ways that it might be handled, but no matter how you cut it, those latter two, two and a half years were going to be split between agency activities and X1 activities. So what we're really at right now and what we're hoping with the unit is that we're just getting that later 2.5 years. So there's a lot of people that like say, we want the X1 unit, they don't want anything, want the members to do anything else regarding their agencies. And I don't think that that's right in the perspective that we need to be taking. We need to be taking and enforcing and encouraging these agencies to say, yes, do your thing, do your thing, because you're gonna do your thing no matter what, but also do this unit. Um, because at the end of the day, that is our best case scenario. That is what we are hoping for, that they can do whatever it is that they, the um, agencies are doing, but that we also get to have the members and their agencies who are allowing for this to happen to also participate in a unit. I won't get into the specifics as to what I think that unit might end up looking like if we do manage to get it, but ultimately there's no way of avoiding the group activities under their individual agencies, but that doesn't mean that we should give up on the unit because just because they are a part of their company group, that doesn't mean that we can't 
support this unit and that the unit cannot happen. I just want to make that really clear. Okay, so let's go into what it actually feels like now being a one it other than supporting this unit group and trying to fight for that. We're also now in a place where we have to actually support all of the members. Let me get into this. So I want to make it very clear. Supporting all the members, all of them is extremely difficult. I, as somebody who is an OT11 want it, am doing my very best to focus on them. And many want it's out there, even if it's not their bias, are trying to support other members as well. But let's be real, it's difficult. The guys, though they're 11, they came from nine different agencies, which means they have nine different tracks on where they're going to be going. Nine different tracks, and some of them have already started back down on those tracks as well. So let's start with the eldest and the first person who went down this proper track right now, and that is Singwu, who returned to being with Victon. So as soon as he came back, he was back in the swing. They had their comeback back in March. Their track was howling. If you have not checked that out for some reason, make sure you go do. It's really good, as well as the entire album. But go ahead and check that out. He is out doing his thing. He has a radio show now, and he's doing his thing. And you can tell, especially now that he has this radio show and it's time has passed, he's opened up a little bit more and he's mentioned other members, which is nice. And he just recently tagged Johan in his um, challenge. So the mentions of the members are starting to come. Things are starting to fall more into place. And it's very clear that, uh, yes, he is Vic with Victon. He will stay with Victon. And while there is currently a little bit of drama that's going on, we won't go into that. Um, and that's just within Victon and solo stands. But... <laughs> we are going to love and support Singwu because Singwu loves and supports all the members too. And he loves his victim members. And that is one of the things that I just want to like reiterate it, that all the members love each other and they love the people that they are in their agencies with. And I just hope everybody just accepts and loves them. And the next thing we're going to mention is going to be H and D. So H and D technically, they released their song Toward Tomorrow before Singwoo um, coming back with Victon, but they didn't have their official debut. It was kind of just like a special fan track that was released and they did promote it, but they did have their official debut with Soul recently. Um, they did have that after the debut of Gravity, but I'll get into Gravity in just a moment. Um, but H&D is comprised of Hangil and Dohyun. They are the two that are from MBK and to one it's they were considered like the pillars of the reboot because MBK functions weird. We're not going into MBK, but they, the boys have done really well as a duo. They are like the best selling duo of the year and I'm so proud of them. Um, but yeah, I just really want them to succeed and their album Soulmate, which is right there is amazing you should check it out um good night all of them all the tracks um empty-handed they're, they're just really really good just believe me check it out next i'm going to talk a little bit about gravity because they are the next in the last group that's actually gone through with their either comeback or debut and that is obviously the starship group which has minhee and hyungjin and they have debuted within the group Gravity. Gravity is a nine member starship group and they are like the first true debut out of um, these groups that is not just the members. So with Singwu, he was coming back with Victon. That was already an established group. With H&D, that was just H&D. That was just Hangul and Dohyun. So those were just the X1 members. There were no additions. Gravity is the first one where it has all of the other members that had been training together along with them. And thus we get Gravity and Break All the Rules is really, really good. Um, even my boyfriend likes it. And I just, just check out that album. It is a really nice debut. They 
are doing so amazingly well and I'm really, really proud of them. So now let's get into some of the stuff that has been announced and is on its progress but hasn't actually happened yet. And the first one is going to be Kim Woo Sook's debut. Um, so he is doing his solo debut. Um, top media has not put him back with Uptension. So Woo Sook is on his own doing solo. And this is going to be his debut album. He has worked really, really hard on it. So please support him. It comes out on May 25th. Um, and the album is called First Desire Greed. And I'm really, really looking forward to this. I'm really excited. We are halfway through. We're about a, just about a week away from it. And I'm really excited to see what he has to offer because I support my boys. Um, and yes, I am purchasing all of these albums. So I purchased Victon's um, most recent album. I purchased the H&D albums. I purchased the Cravity albums. I'm purchasing the Wusok albums and the next debut, well not debut, the next comeback is going to be Cho Sing Yun Woods. Woods is coming back. Yes, we are getting some Woods. Um, so he is coming back in June and we're going to get to see more of him. He actually also opened up a TikTok and it's Singyun. He's, tick. yes, just just love him. Um, and then also we have other groups now that are also in the process of forming. Willems have been together for a while. They've been doing photo shoots and teasers, and I'm not sure when they're actually going to debut. But um, I imagine that it's probably going. It's definitely going to be within, I'd say, the next nine months. I don't know if it's definitely going to happen. Like. This year, it very well may signs and activity point to that, but they also just debuted Rocket Punch just a year ago. So I don't know exactly what they're doing, but it is coming soon and they are keeping those boys out there, which is good. Um, also, DSPN seems like they're gearing up. They've been releasing a lot of covers and not just regular, just dance covers, but like high production covers where they're like going to sets and filming and doing all that. And I'm really impressed by their dancing, they are fantastic. We haven't really heard any of the vocals, any of the other skills that they really have. So it'll be interesting to see if they start posting some of those things as well. But as far as like a dance unit, they are really, really, really good. Really talented dancers. I'm impressed. <laughs> um, then we also have We Boys, which um, We Entertainment was about to open up their new SNS channels they closed um Daehyun Daehyung's SNS they also closed um Donghan's and they announced that they were opening up this all the Wee Boy stuff and then all of a sudden they reeled it back literally like seven minutes before it was supposed to drop they had dropped the teaser and then a first like, like they dropped the teaser image and then a first teaser and then a teaser for the actual video and it didn't open and they didn't give any like definite when it will open um so we're just kind of just waiting um who knows but the wee boys team is stacked with talent stacked with it so it'll be really interesting to see what they have to offer as well um and yeah in general um all the boys have different things that are going on unsung is releasing a photo book and there is always the opportunity for him to join Boys to Capo. Who knows? Maybe he'll go solo too. I mean, personally, I think that Unsung has a beautiful OST voice and he would do really well solo. And right now they seem to be keeping him separate from the Boys to Capo boys. And I don't know if that's just, if that's a personal decision, if they're just trying to wait until later on, build up both sides fan bases. I don't know. But Personally, I think that Unsung is super talented. I, he posted a little clip of him starting to compose, so I'm really proud of this kid. Really, really, really proud. But um, yeah, it's really interesting to see where they're going to be going. And I can tell you that as a one it, standing all of these boys now is, it's a money drain because I can't actually let them go, any of them. So I've just been slowly preparing myself not collecting other things so that way I will be able to financially support the boys as well as do what I can because even just keeping up with the archive which I was doing previously 
doing it by myself, it's really, really difficult. And I had to unfortunately cut back to only two groups currently because it's just that much content that it's just really hard to keep up with maintaining all of it in so many different avenues. But that said, I'm really, really excited and I'm happy that these boys came into my life. There's never going to be a day that I regret becoming a one it. They are my happiness. And I just wish that one day soon we'll be able to have a unit. And I get, I didn't, I mentioned, I wouldn't say what I was hoping for a unit, but personally, and this is just my opinion and things change and my opinions vary, but at least for the past few months, it's, I felt that this way, but I would really like a unit to happen. And I'm honestly perfectly fine if that unit is not only promotes one song a year, has one promotion cycle. Even if it's only like a two week promotional cycle, they go on some shows, they film some stuff, they're together. They can do that like once a year, which would not overload them and not be too, too much on them. I would really be happy with that personally, um, just because the boys would get to be together and no matter how you cut it, how you look at it, what paths they've gone down, you can clearly see how much they mean to each other and obviously they're still going to be friends behind camera and not even if they don't a unit doesn't form that bond is not going to break but we got so little from them and there was so much that they wanted to show us that it would just be a real shame if they didn't get that opportunity to show us as a group and i think that with the unit this is a better and even better chance for them to shine because they'll be under um, a bunch of different companies and the individual members will be able to have some more input into the creative process. And I think that what we'll end up getting is something that is even more genuine and more heartfelt than before. Also, it'll be really great to hear to know that they managed to pull this off after everything we fought for and how hard it was fought to get that unit. So I really just hope that could happen, that one day soon we will have a unit that's not promoting all the time, just a little bit every year for the next few years. And I think that would be nice. Um, it wouldn't interrupt too much with their group and activities. And they can also continue to build and gain more fans too, because you're compiling everybody together and you're getting people that maybe are only coming in for a certain member because they're part of another main group that might catch the attention and get people to like another group. And it's just, it's a mutually beneficial process. So I hope that they can arrange something that will work out really well, but I haven't given up hope, but I'm still 100% supporting them on their individual avenues now too, so yeah. Just let you let, let you guys know where this one it is almost five months later. And it still hurts, but I'm making it through now. Bye.